Welcome. Uh, for this class, we're going to do two really cool stars. I don't know where my other five pointed star went, but this is one of them. <clears throat> this is really cool. These are both designed by um, uh, Jose Musin, <clears throat> and um, pretty cool star. You have the uh, designs on both sides. And the other five pointed star is the one that you're going to use the, um, uh, the uh, rectangles for. And uh, I, uh, what I would like to do is I, I know that we can get through both of these together. So I want to start with the, um, with this one, which is uh, with just five sheets of regular origami paper, not the cut ones. The cut ones are going to come for the other five pointed star. So go ahead and get your five sheets of regular origami paper, not the cut ones. And uh, just go ahead and grab five sheets. And if you want to make them all the same color, great. Uh, if you want to make them all different colors, that's fine. You do see both sides of the paper. So you can, I'm using a uh, really cool duo paper that uh, we have here at uh, Paper 3, the rainbow colors, which is all double-sided, which is, which is pretty fun. And you can get some really cool things. So we are going to, we're, we're going to do this model first, five sheets of regular uncut paper, and we want to do some pre-creasing. <clears throat> so why don't we go ahead and do the stages like we did uh, what I teach when I do the, uh, the modulars, which is we do all the, to all the papers, we do the same step. Okay, so once we do it to one, let's do the same thing for the rest of the five. And that way we end at the same time, and then we could assemble it. Okay, so start, my paper is... I've noticed because of the camera, um, when I do white, like regular origami paper, the white is really bright and it's really hard for you guys to see. So I'm starting to use dual paper and it happens to be really great for this class. Um, the outside of the star, in this case of my example, the blue, you want that color to be face down. If it's pattern, go ahead and have them all face down. The On my paper, this blue is gonna be the outer color and these, points here are going to be this green. So on my papers, the green is the back side of the paper. Okay. So, and the color side is face down. So I have all your papers uh, color side face down. Let's take one and do some pre-creasing. Super easy. You're just going to take it. Let's fold it, it into a triangle. We need to have our center crease in place. Uh, we can go ahead and do that for all of the other ones. So we're just folding it in half into a triangle and just putting it aside because we're making our center. Crease line. So now that we have um, our pre-creases, let's go ahead and put those aside. Let's take one. We're going to unfold it. Now, this is real important that you have this oriented and you fold these. The thing with this is consistency. You want to make sure that you have the right side folded in the right way. Okay. So what you have is orient your paper so that the, cre the pre-crease goes vertically like this from top to bottom. Okay. Let me look at my piece like here. Hope you can see that. What we're going to do is fold. Let's take this top edge here on the right side. Okay, make sure it's the right side, not the left side. Right side, and we're gonna fold it like paper airplane style so that it lines up with the center crease ending at the top point. And we're just gonna fold it all the way down like this. And then you're taking the opposite one on the left and folding that to the center. Okay. So the upper right and lower left panels get folded like this. Okay. And then you can use your creasing tool to reinforce these creases, make it nice and crisp. And then do the same for the other five.
um, next step. So what we want to do is uh, let's take one of the models, turn it over. You see your diag uh, the that first crease or the the previous crease that we had that goes this way. Okay, we want to take this and fold it going across from this corner. To this corner. So again, it's across this crease. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold this over. And you could let this flap hang down like this. You don't have to fold that. But you, what, you, what I recommend is when you bring the paper over and you reach the limit here, just make a little pinch to hold it in place. And then you could roll the paper over to the other point and make a little pinch there. And then you basically connect the folds. Okay, like that. And then go ahead and leave this, this flap down like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that to the next one. So turn it over and make sure you have it oriented so that the um, this uh, crease goes down like this. Your, your fold is going to go this way. So again, lift the flap up, kind of pinch that in place. Fold this right at the corner, pinch that in place, and then you can put the remaining paper out like this. And you can um, go ahead and have the the flap behind or the, the flap on top. Just bring it out like that, okay? So that your units look like this, and continue. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the next step. Super easy. You've pulled, you've had, you have your model so that you have those two flaps hanging down like this, right? What we wanna do is from the inside, not the outside, the inside, the shorter flap, we're gonna bring this edge up to this fold line here, okay? Like this. Okay. And um, and then you want to turn it over and do the same for the opposite flap. Remember, it's the short one from the inside, and you want to bring it up. If you don't have a fold there, you can you know just run your finger there, and you can find the the uh, the edge there. So you just want to have it so that it goes makes a point from the inside. This is going to be the center detail here. These white on this model here, the white points, that's what these are going to be, okay? So you wanna do both sides of each module, okay? So go ahead and put that aside and then take your next one. Again, from the inside, that shorter edge, you bring it up to that fold line there, turn it over and repeat. If you don't have a fold there, you can just run your fingernail through there and find the edge. And then fold it in place like that. And the next one, same thing. Now, this is the completed module. We're gonna start putting it together. When you put it together, there's an additional uh, two uh, folds that you do to lock this in place, which is kind of fun, okay? So go ahead and take two. You can kind of watch this first before uh, you actually do it. Take, take the one on the left and you see that uh, center crease that's on this model here? you want to place it on top of this crease here. So what you should do is if you line up the points up here and you slide it together, it should kind of touch in the middle there. What I find is if you line up the points here and you see this edge here, if you line it up with that point there, that should be where you need to be, okay? 
So again, this point here lines up with this edge. Sorry about that. Like this. <clears throat> now, the first thing is take this top edge and what you what we're going to do is wrap it around the edge behind it so if you kind of watch me do this the crease is actually going to be it's going to start it's going to wrap around this entire edge here so you can lift it up make sure you hold it in place pretty firmly and you're going to make a mountain fold that wraps around that entire edge like that okay And then you're going to do the same. This left one is going to be a valley fold coming up to wrap around this flap. Okay, so that's locking that in place. Okay. So hopefully you have that. And then we let's rotate. Let's take our next one. And again, remember you you're placing this one on top of your next model. What you can do is you see the bottom here where these two points meet on the one that we just connected. You just line it up there and then line up the point, the points up here. That'll be where you need to start. And then it's just a matter of taking that flap and making a mountain fold, wrapping it around that entire edge like that. And then making a valley fold on the opposite side. And that kind of locks that in place like that. And then we're gonna rotate, grab our next one. <clears throat> And now these are going to start overlapping and stuff down here. Let's see, am I on the right side? Yes, okay. So this one overlaps. Okay, so you have a unit, you know, this one which has the backside or the center star color. You're going to place it underneath this point here. And again, at this point, this is going to be the center here. So if you slip it underneath and make the center, tuck that in, and then make sure you line up your points here on the outside. Like that. And then you've got your flaps to wrap around and lock. Okay, so we're going to do this one. For the last assembly, it's between these two flaps that you slip this into. Line up the center and then line up your points. This and this, see if you can line them up. And then wrap this around. And then the final one should be straightforward like that and like this. Ta-da! Now we're gonna do the second one, which I'm sorry, I don't have a model sitting around here. I don't know what happened to it. Um, and what you'll need are five um, rectangles. So if you take three sheets of six inch, Cut them in half lengthwise. You'll have six pieces, but we're only going to need five. Okay. So I have five here. And my pieces are going to be the back side of this. Actually, you're not going to see the back side at all, but my paper is the yellow is the back side, and then this is the front side. Okay. So again, you're not going to see the um, the back side like you do with this model here. Okay. Okay. 
you will need scissors for this because um, the original instructions uh, require that you use um, an eight and a half by 11. And so uh, we're adjusting this just a little, there's one part that we can adjust it. We have to just trim one end to make this you know, workable in a six inch format, okay? So now that you have that, um, I'm gonna start, okay, so the color of my star is going to be this color here. So the back side of the paper should be face up. We want to take uh, take it and fold it in half lengthwise. We need to do our pre-crease here. So go ahead and fold all of them lengthwise. Okay, so you should have five rectangles that are folded in half. And now what we're gonna do is we are going to, let's take one, open it up. You have your center line here. Real easy, take the top two corners and fold them into the center line. Let's get that going. So do that to all of your remaining pieces. Okay, so now that we have that, super easy. We're just going to take this and we are going to make a mountain fold along this base of the triangle. Basically, you're just gonna fold this triangle away in a mountain fold. So you're gonna fold it behind. If you wish, you can turn it over and then fold that triangle down, either way. But the thing is, you're taking this point and folding it down away from the back side of the paper. Make sure that they end at the corners there. If you turn it over, you can use your center line as a guide to make sure that the point is lined up and then that should make a nice accurate triangle. Okay. So go ahead and let's fold the remaining five. Oh, let's, let's flip them over so that we're looking at the back side. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the next step here. So again, the point is at the top here. It's behind. Okay. You still have your center line here. Oh, let me take this one. You have your center crease. And it's a simple matter of taking uh, the, the two corners and we're folding the two corners in like this. Okay. So if you have the correct side, you will see these two triangles here. And for this, you should, after you make your fold, uh, do use your creasing tool um, because you've got like four layers of paper up here. Make it nice and flat. So remember you are folding the, uh, the top where the point is on the back side. Okay. Paper is very slippery to me this morning. So we're going to keep folding. We should have our five little houses. <laughs> so now um, I'm going to go ahead and go for the next step. The next step is you're going to take this edge of the house here and line it up with the center line. Make sure that this stays flat so it doesn't slide over on you like a paper airplane. So it's going to come to a point. And the key here is to make sure that this lines up 
when you fold it, you are going to have some excess here, and that's fine. This part here, we're going to trim off. But what we want to do now is to make, bring that top edge into the center. So do both sides. So that's the point, one point of the star. And make sure it comes together here in the middle and then fold it down like that. And definitely you want to use your creasing tool on the top because of the layers of paper. That's nice and flat like that. It is expected to have this excess here. So don't, don't worry, it's fine. And then go ahead and do that with your other ones. So now that we have this, I'm going to go ahead and, and go to the next step. What we need to do is to trim off some excess down here. What I notice when, when this is folded is that this is not necessarily on the same level. But so whatever the lowest one is, what we want to do is using your center line as a guide, let's fold this bottom edge up so that it ends at this corner here and lines up in the center there. Basically what we want to do is just cut off this excess. If you have more on one side than the other, it's not a problem. Let's just take the lowest one and just fold it up. I hope that I'm making that clear. Just fold it up. And then what we want to do is cut off that excess. Okay. It's okay if they don't line up, we're just going to take the lowest one as the guide, the main guide, use that as the point and then make sure that your center lines up and then you have a parallel or an even, you know, rectangle. Unfold it and then just give it a cut. So you want to go ahead and make sure you have your scissors. Okay, so mine looks like this. See, I have a little extra on one side, but that's that's not a problem. The key for this model is to make sure that these are lined up here in the center. Okay, this is all going to fold up and, and hide away. So let's go ahead and continue and do the same for your remaining units. Let's go ahead and take one of the models, turn it over. So now we are looking at this side here. Let me, let me get one that has a, you can see. Okay, so you've got that little flap up in here. What we wanna do is fold this up so that it tucks underneath here and ends here. So the best way to do this is we're gonna take, take the bottom edge and let's just go ahead and make our first fold that goes underneath like this, okay? And then unfold, that's our first step. What we wanna do is now, now that you have this crease in place, we wanna break this up into, into fourths. Okay, here's the, so that's the one crease. Take the bottom edge and let's fold it up to that, okay? And then this is going to get a little small because we want to take that bottom edge and fold that up to the edge here, folding this bottom section in here. It's going to get a little small, but it's not a problem. Because once we have that, we're going to roll it up. So you're just going to go forward, go forward. And it should end If you roll it three times, I think, let's see, one, two, three. Okay, so we have this. One, I could have that. So it's one, two, three. Three should end up underneath that flap, like that. Okay, and let's do the same for the others.
And now we're going to put it together. Traditional mod model, excuse me, modular models have pockets and tabs. This one does the same. So all of these wings out here, these are our tabs. And the pocket is actually So I'm going to go ahead and put, put these together. Hopefully you're in a, uh, ready to go. And so the pocket, you know, this tab here that we tuck the, the, this bar underneath, that's our pocket. So take, I have two here. So this one, and not go like this, but at an angle. So this one is going to tuck in like this. Actually, it should line up with this edge here, <clears throat> okay? So this tab, you slip it underneath the pocket and it should go line up with this edge here. And what I notice is on the back side, you see there's a split in the point. You can tuck the excess of that underneath so it locks in place. Might be a good idea to get um, put a little glue stick or something like that. So then it looks correct on the front side. Okay. I hope that helps. Make sure that we're assembling the correct thing. And then yeah, there's a little extra that you have you can tuck it underneath the split. Okay. Like that. So I hope that helps. And uh, everyone, did everyone uh, assemble it? Does it look good? Let's see. Everyone is. Oh, nice! Yes, that looks great. I'm going to continue and try to lock mine in place like that. And I think that's a pretty good way to go. All right, so that was the uh, today's modular five pointed star class. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, some really interesting designs, I think, which are which are kind of fun for for star month. And uh, so that is that's that. <laughs>